Alright, so YouTube, I have here a Divention Devo 10. Um, I have installed the uh, Deviation 5.0 on this transmitter. I've been using the original, like, first out ever Deviation software up until now, firmware. So it has changed a lot of stuff in this controller. Um, the point of the the toggle the three position toggle switches and the auxiliary knobs you have to set those up a completely different way completely different way um, it took me a while to figure this out uh, I couldn't find any videos on it I found some forums on it but no videos so I'm going to show you what I did to set up these two three position switches and these auxiliary knobs to work with the deviation 5.0 firmware and uh, these only work as two positions as soon as you install the 5.0 firmware I'm not sure how how many firmwares they went through um, before this was changed but I'll get into it okay so let me turn the transmitter on you see it's deviation 5.0 that's how I have it set up alright so as soon as you load it the first time you turn this on you're going to go to enter transmitter menu transmitter configuration and then you're gonna go to calibrate when you hit calibrate it's gonna ask you to center all the sticks and knobs and then press enter now this this doesn't mean just these sticks. This means that you're going to have to center the two position or the three position switches. So you put that in the center and you come over here and you put that one in the center. And I think that's the only two position switches that are, are the, my bad, the three position switches. I've got used to calling them two because they only worked as two. Three position switches on this remote are the mix and the F mod. So as long as those are centered when you do this calibration, you should be good. Make sure the knobs are centered. Let's get those centered in there. All right. I have my stick centered. Uh, with with the NASA, I fly with a NASA um, flight controller. So when the throttle stick is in the center it will hover so I set it to spring back and forth back to center so when I let it go I know it's hovering and not dropping if I can't really see it I have bad eyesight sometimes so here we go so they're all centered uh, that's in the middle that one's in the middle and then you go ahead and hit enter I well ENT I guess that's enter and exit so move sticks and knobs to maximum and minimum position and then press enter so here's when you do the whole woo -doo -woo. Um, as far as they'll go in their range just move them around some people like to move them this way and then this way and then do the same with this side and then this side I just go all the way around alright now for the switches go to the max center minimum Max, minimum, max, center, minimum, max, minimum, max, minimum, max, minimum. Okay, and then you go up to the knobs. You're going to go all the way to max and all the way to minimum. Good, it goes recenter it. I'm going to do the same with this side. Maximum. And minimum and there you go so I did all of them I believe and you press enter calibration done press enter sweet okay so you got them all calibrated which means that now it will show up with the knobs working uh, in the channel monitor let's see what Okay, so channel 8 is that knob. Let's move it around in there. Channel 7 
or to channel five, I have set to the other knob. Okay, so they're both working. Okay, so you exit this. We're gonna go to model menu. <clears throat> this is for the three position switches. There's apparently one or two ways to do this. Sorry about the glare. There's one or two ways to do this. Um, this is the way that worked for me the fastest. And to set up the NASA for the GPS and attitude and manual flights. So you go down to mixer here. The mixer. And I have it set on channel 6. But I believe channel 7 is my GPS and nope that is my mix switch okay now that I have for the course lock and home lock mode but here's what you do you set it to complex not simple not anything else complex over here you have it says mixers and I inputted three because I want it to work as a three position switch Page one is going to be switch zero. I have it set to mix zero. Replay you have the MUX put in replace. Source none. Curve is fixed. Scale I have set to 125. It doesn't really matter. Offset is 125. So that switch all the way up is at 125, which I believe is a home lock or I'm not sure what order they're in because I never use it, but home lock or course lock, that would tell it it's all the way up. No trim. I never use trim. Okay, so then you go down to page number two. Page two. Set switch to mix one, which would be this. So it goes down to the center. Replace. Source is none, curve is fixed, scale is zero, and the offset I have to six, so it enables on the NASA. We'll take a look up here. The course lock. And it is actually six because if this moves a little bit over one way or the other, it won't set course lock or it might not be as sensitive on this but it is on the GPS and uh, attitude and manual mode on the other screen so those are you gonna have to set differently um, so I have it offset to six so then you go back up and go to page number three page number three for this mix switch three pages there and we're gonna go down and it's all the same so you go to I have it mix switch two for the lowest position replace on the MUX source is none curve is fixed scale is negative 100 offset is negative 100 so on this it actually shows on the home lock that's where it was set to is all the way over and that works for me all the way over so and then you go up and you go to save and now you have this three position switch working as you need it We'll go to the list green up here. Off, course lock, home lock. Now you do the same thing with the, let's see, my GoPro is kind of pointed funny here. Now you do the same thing with the F mod switch, which I currently have set up to control GPS mode, manual mode, and attitude mode. All right, so up here on the screen, see if you can see that. 
when I'm using this F mod switch, it is in GPS, attitude, and manual. And on the screen, you can see there's a fail safe in between each one of these. So it has to be on point. It has to be very close to these. So when you're actually setting it up, you want to go up or down in the numbers once you have the switch in a certain position to know which one it's selecting. You have to have the NASA uh, software up so you can see what's going on. <clears throat> That's the same thing. So you go into your mixers. I have four mixers set up. Um, because that's how I did one of my sale fail safes with this switch up here. I have it set to go all crazy off to one side when I pull that switch down, so it will man manually set the uh, drone just sitting over there in fail safe for me. That way, I don't if I can't tell where it's going or where it's pointed or what's going on with it, I just hit that switch. It goes right into failsafe mode and comes right back. Then I had to set the failsafe up with the transmitter losing signal because I am running the Devo receiver and I don't believe that is programmable into the receiver itself. So I have that mixer set up. Page one with the F mod switch all the way to zero. I actually, and then MUX replace source none, curve fixed. Scale zero, offset was 88 for me. <clears throat> That's what I had to set the offset at for this to be in GPS mode. Anywhere out of that little 88, it was off to one side and was not stuck in GPS mode. And you can go one or two over in different directions, but it, that's, it, it, it's just easier if it's directly centered. <clears throat> then I had to spend a little bit of time to get it there, but That's page one. We'll go to my page two so you guys can see that I have, uh, Mode switch one F mod one uh, MUX is replaced source is none curve is fixed scale is zero offset again it, it, Well, this offset is six six for the center of the switch that puts me in attitude mode that is just because attitude isn't actually centered on this little tick right here it's off to the left just a little bit so that's my offset was six so then I save that one or no we got to do the last one it's uh, page three for your three position switch Let's see so there's page three and we'll flip this down into F mod 2. This is at the bottom of this scale over here. MUX is replaced. Source is none. Curve is fixed. Scale is zero. Offset is negative 80. Now negative 80 puts this into manual mode. Which you can select between... I believe, let's check it out. I believe you can change it to anything. You put it, well, attitude or a fail safe. So there you go. So I set the fail safe up on another switch, a dedicated fail safe switch. So I don't accidentally go into fail safe. And then I leave this in manual. I probably should put it in attitude, but I had issues trying to calibrate the compass before because you have to have it go in and out of manual and attitude and GPS seven times on the switch before you can calibrate. Apparently you can't do it when it's on a fail safe mode. I don't know that's how it was. Okay. So like I said on my controller here that offset was negative 80 to get that down into manual mode on the screen. And that's about all there is to it. You hook it up and you go to save. You save it. Bam. And now you have your three position switches back. Check that out. Check that out. Oh, oh. We're going to go up 
up here. I'm going to fling it. And you can actually see that I have my, this is my camera gimbal control. And then this one over here is X1. So I'm able to control uh, gains on my drone while it's flying. That's a good way to have that set up at first. And then you can set it, once you get it perfect, you lock it in and have fun flying.